Welcome to Ford Field for this preseason matchup of the New England Patriots and the Detroit Lions. Brady stands tall. Edelman sneaks inside the 15. Third catch on the drive for the ninth year man out of Kent State. Slipping a little bit, getting off the field, and that's not a good sign for the Patriots right there. Try to make a cut and tear my ACL. Non-contact. Edelman's season was over before it began. We sat next to each other on the plane, and you know he was as sad as could be. We saw it. We knew. I knew it right away. That was horrible. Yeah. That was tough. You're on top of your game. You're in your prime. And he had worked so hard to get to that point. He was bummed. But you know, Julian and I have a rabbi lesson every Friday, and, and we talk about sadness. And we stayed sad for a day. And then we said, nothing we can do. Let's just move forward. It was a lot of work. It's not like you're starting at zero. You're starting at like negative because of all the atrophy, all the new equipment in your body. You're trying to get back to where you were at 100. You know, you may get back to 85. By June of 2018, 85 was within reach. But his plans for a triumphant week one return hit a snag. We're going to kick things off in Foxborough, where just two days after taking part in 11 on 11 drills for the first time since tearing his ACL, Julian Edelman finds out that he is facing a four game suspension for violating the league's policy on performance enhancing drugs. Tough time. It was a very tough time. You know, you get hurt, you're down. Just like I said the year before, when you're down, they break your neck. Football gods broke my neck. The suspension caused a rift between Julian and Frank. He was disappointed. He was mad. He was mad I was challenging. He, I don't know. We, we got in a fight. We didn't talk to each other for about three months. We knew you got to do what you got to do. And so I wasn't upset, you know, that whatever he did occurred. I didn't really care. He got, we, we, where him and I got in a fight was the lawyer issues. You know what I mean? He didn't want dad a part of that. He wanted his agents a part of it. He you wanted know? to fight it. He wanted to fight things. Frank I, didn't want him to spend the money on attorneys thinking you're, you're not gonna win. It just, it was, a, it was a tough year. It was a very tough start to the year. You know, it was very, very, very tough. They reconciled in time for Julian to serve his suspension. And while he was banned from team activities, Frank resumed a familiar role, coach. You're not Johnny Unitas, bud. Johnny you, baby. Johnny you. Right when he came back, he wanted pops there. You know, and we had a little moment of working together again. And look, I'm a little league coach. <laughs> I can't. But he, he let me believe. <laughs> he still believes in his dad. He does. He does. He does. You know. Hey, this is what it's about tonight. That's what I'm excited to see the return. Julian Edelman. I was ready to play, but competitively, I didn't necessarily think I was me yet. It was a struggle throughout the year. You know, it was painful. But each week, you get more confident. Touchdown! You compound more load. Edelman diving to the goal line. And as your leg got stronger, you know, the confidence gets even higher. And touchdown, Patriots! You know, then we go on runs. All night long. I, I know Richie, bro. All night long. Good evening from Atlanta, Georgia, and inside the Mercedes Benz Stadium here at Super Bowl 53. Let's go, baby. That's why we play, baby. Julian turned into a machine. I think that really sums up Julian. Faced with adversity in 2017, comes back in 18, misses the first four games of the season, ends up making that his best season yet in the biggest moments in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl. Edelman had 10 catches for 141 yards and earned his third Super Bowl win. No matter where life takes us, you'll always be my brother, man. I wouldn't be here without you, bro. I love bro. you so much. Are you MVP? MVP? I am. Uh, MVP. You gotta be the first Jew to be an MVP. <laughs> <laughs> like I am, baby. <laughs> 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 
check that off. Hey, congrats, man. Coach, I appreciate it, man. MVP. A long year, man. I appreciate oh, man, you, Coach. Was. He kind of became prom king after that game. And Julian always fighting to become prom king. My boy right there. You call him. He's my said, little brother. Yeah, you said you never had a little brother, but if you had yeah. one, it'd be Julian Edelman. Guess what? He's the MVP. He deserves it. That was one of the best games he ever played. You know, after that year, where it started and the place that I was in mentally, to be able to fight my way out of it and end it the way it ended. Are you happy? I'm happy. That was the best.